seen my skincare routine, you if you guys seen like but it is the makeup forever aqua rouge like but it is the makeup forever aqua rouge but it is the aqua rouge lip lips <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel for this week's video i do have for you guys my september favorites i forgot the month but my september favorites and i am so excited because i have not done a favorites video in a long 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 time and i thought it was time to do one because now my favorite season is coming in and so why not do a favorites video so this week's video is the favorites video if you're not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe the subscribe button is down below all the time if you're using any kind of electronic it's down below all the time also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my snapchat and my instagram i do only have those two social media so don't forget to follow me on those and let's just get started my first favorite i'm starting off with makeup it's not a lot of products i lately haven't been buying a lot of makeup products i've just been sticking to the ones that i have but i've been enjoying some for quite a while and i want to share them with you guys i am going to show foundation first and it is the super stay better skin by maybelline i love this foundation to life like this is the best foundation i have ever used like honestly i've been having very dry skin but very oily at the same time like it's terrible and this is the only foundation that really works with my skin right now so if you're having pretty complicated skin I recommend this I do believe this is medium to full coverage it just makes your skin look so good but so natural and plus the best thing about this is that it's very long-lasting and it works awesome during summer so if you have not tried this honestly guys like try it do not hesitate in trying it it's just an awesome foundation I also been enjoying the better skin concealer and this is a light to medium I did get a lighter shade just so I can kind of highlight under my eyes I really don't do that um, I don't think it looks good on me but I decided to try it on this one and I just really been enjoying it really covers up your under eyes this does not look cakey it's not drying on your skin like at least on mine it's not drying I do just apply this on my under eyes since it is a lighter color it would not match my skin it really conceals a little goes a long way I just really like this concealer I really love this makeup line like it's so good it's just awesome I love it and honestly guys you guys need to try these two products out because they are the best I do believe they are the best for mascara, I am wearing it today and it is the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. When I first bought this, I didn't like it. Like, I disliked it so much. I was like, this is such a waste of money. What was the whole purpose of this mascara? It does not make my eyelashes look super long. But I decided to pick it up because I'm obviously not going to waste any makeup or I'm not going to waste my money. So I picked it up and just said whenever I'm lazy or whenever I just have to put on some kind of makeup, I'll just pick this up just so it can start wasting and I won't just throw away my money like that. So when I decided to do that, I actually fell in love with it and it makes my eyelashes look so long and it's so easy to apply. I love the wand. I love when wands are plasticky and they're not like a brush type of form. I just really like it when it's plastic and when the little bristles are small, like this is what it is and it's very long and skinny and it just makes your eyelashes look good it gets every eyelash that you have I naturally have long eyelashes so this just makes it look longer I don't know how it would work with people that have shorter lashes but for my lashes it makes an awesome job keep in mind that all of my mascaras are waterproof all the time every mascara I get has to be waterproof so. for my lips I am wearing it right now and I've been using this lip product since last year I just don't remember showing it to you guys in a favorites video or talking about it but it is the aqua rouge liquid lipsticks and I just really love this and it is in the color 14 my gosh I think I am running out already because when I was applying it today a lot didn't come out so I am so sad but I just really love this product like it's such a beautiful color I believe this color will look good on every skin type on every skin tone it will look so good on everybody it's 
so long lasting and it dries matte which is an awesome thing it does have a clear side this kind of acts like a glue where it will stick it on your lips and it will act waterproof i really don't apply it i do apply it when i know i am going to have a long day or when i just want it to last a long time and i just don't want to be reapplying it then i do apply this but today it is like almost 10 in the night i just applied makeup right now just to film this video so there was no reason to use this so I just really like this product and honestly guys, I recommend for you guys to try this liquid lipstick line because they are so good, the formula is awesome and it's just an awesome product and you guys need to try it. Honestly guys, try it. My last makeup product is an eyebrow product and it is, I don't know if I ever mentioned this in a favorites video or anything, I know I talked about it in my makeup tutorials but I don't think I've ever like talked about it like like camera like favorites video but it is the Anastasia the brow powder duo and the color chocolate I just really like this if you're the kind of person that only likes to use powder for your eyebrows I honestly recommend this Anastasia one this lasts all day like honestly guys if you're sweating this will not go anywhere this gets stuck to your eyebrows to your face and it does not go nowhere until you remove it in the night this is such an awesome powder and if you're looking for a powder for your eyebrows, I recommend this. I am wearing it today, so I recommend this product a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, I'm going to show you guys my skincare products, my favorite things that I've been enjoying lately. And the first one, it is the face wash. And it is the Vino Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. And I just really like this. If you've seen my skincare routine video, you did see a different cleanser at that time. I was using the scrub one by the same Positively Radiant brand of Avino. But I felt like it was drying my face a lot. It was very gentle, but I just, at that time, my face was getting very, very dry. And I needed something more light, so I decided to get this one, and it has helped my skin a lot. It's just an awesome product. Honestly, guys, if you have sensitive skin or dry skin or anything, if you just have a problem with your skin, try this product. It is for sensitive skin, and I feel like it could do good for anybody's skin. It will not harm your skin whatsoever. I do believe it has brightened my face a lot and it has made it so much better so really love this and really recommend it. The next product that I'm going to show you guys has to do with this and it is the Spin for Perfect Skin brush. I was looking over there because the box is over there and I forgot the name but it is the, I'm going to look over there again because I don't know, it is the Spin for Perfect Skin brush and I just really really love this. About a year ago or two, I used to have the Olay one, which is a dupe to this brush. The Olay brush is so awesome. I used that brush for about a year or two, and that brush made my skin so good and so clear, and it was such an awesome brush. But then it broke and it stopped working, so I just never bought one again. I decided to just invest in a more expensive one so it can last a little bit longer. And after a year or two, I finally decided to buy one. Um, you guys, when I used to use the Olay brush, my skin was so good. After I stopped using it, my skin got so terrible. You guys have seen it on my makeup tutorials that my skin was not at its best. And I do believe it's because my skin wasn't being cleaned the right way. My skin was used to using a brush and then I stopped using it for a year and a half or two and my skin got so bad and I finally decided to buy one again and my skin has been so good guys like it's not at its best but it has been so much so much better and I just really love this and I recommend it if I do have a coupon code I will link it down below so you guys use it but if I don't then I will try my best to get one for you guys this is normally a hundred dollars but I got it for 30 so if I can find a coupon for you guys so you guys can get a discount on it then I will link it down below so you guys can try it out because this is an awesome product you guys need to try this and it's just awesome and I just love my skin thanks to these two products that have done the magic. Since I did tell you guys earlier that my skin has been so dry, like you guys, it was terribly dry that it would itch. And I did read a post of this person saying that coconut oil and vitamin E pills would help and I decided to make it so I have it in a little tray right here and it is coconut oil and vitamin E capsules and it has helped my skin so much it is still dry some areas are still dry but it's so much better my skin has been like 
well, at least to me, probably people that see me in person are like, your skin is terrible, but for me, I could tell the difference. Like, it has been so firm and it has like this type of glow. It's not like a glow glow, but it has like a subtle glow. And it just makes my skin look so much better. My under eyes have been so much better. They haven't been as dark. My skin has been so much more toned. This coconut and vitamin E thing, I do just apply it at night throughout my whole face and it just feels so good and when I wake up my skin feels so moisturized and it just feels so restored. Coconut oil thing I will leave it down below so you guys can know how much coconut oil you need and how much vitamin E capsules you guys need so I will link everything down below especially the skincare stuff because it has made a difference in my life and honestly guys I just been feeling so much more confident with my skin and it just has been awesome guys. For fashion, this really isn't fashion, but I've lately been obsessed with glasses. As you've seen in my last week video, I was using these because I did look ratchet as heck. Like my outfits in that video and then just the way that I looked, my hair was so bent up. Like I looked so ratchet in that video and I was so ridiculous in the video, but I really have been enjoying these, um, what could I call these? I don't know like circle cat eye looking glasses i just really been enjoying them i have like three or four of these and i just rotate with them because i just really like this like these are from these are different these are a little bit bigger these are from bluedom if you do know what bluedom is it's just an awesome site and i will link it down below these are from bluedom and these other ones are from forever 21 and these were the ones I was wearing last week in my video. And I do have some other ones, I just don't know where I left them, but I just really been enjoying those glasses. Now, for my favorite part is food. The reason I think my skin has been so much better is because I've been eating so much better. I do believe that whatever you consume in will appear in the outside. So I decided to change the way I've been eating. And one of my favorite things to snack on or my breakfast or whatever, if it's a snack or breakfast or dinner or whenever I just feel like eating it, has been an asahi bowl and I really been enjoying the Sambazan acai berry super fruit pack and I did get these at Sprouts if you don't know they do sell these at Sprouts at Whole Foods and in Costco I believe but I got these at Sprouts and I just really been enjoying these acai bowls like they taste so delicious they are so refreshing and they fill me up so much so I've been thinking of doing like a what I ate today kind of video so you guys can see some of the meals that I've been doing lately and so I can show you guys how I do my acai bowl. It's not just delicious, it also has awesome benefits for your body so um, yeah, it's awesome and I love acai bowls. If you haven't tried them, you really need to try them. Throughout my meals, I sometimes like to snack on things, sometimes it's not a healthy thing or sometimes it is. but. I've really been enjoying chips and salsa lately and some of my favorite chips lately have been the Sprouts white corn tortilla chips and I just really like this. You know like there are some chips that you buy that are so so salty that you cannot stand. Well these are not salty at all, they're just perfectly salted and they are so good and you need to try these. And the salsa that I've really really been enjoying lately is the Maria's Gourmet Salsa and mild. I didn't get it in hot because I just... I don't know, if I, get, if I got it in hot, I probably wouldn't be able to stand the hotness. So I got mild so I could eat as much as I want throughout the day. But I really been enjoying this salsa. It is so bomb. Like, it's so good. These two together go together so good. And I just really love snacking on this. Like, ugh, I'm so obsessed with it. Like, I really like snacking on chips and salsa. And this has been my favorite lately. And I did get this as sprouts as well. Those have been my favorites lately. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be part of the uni family so you can be notified of whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys!